you have written, let me just read this one line to you, folks. It's a remarkably wonderful line. Uh, based on our rough calculations, this was an article he did on government playing money ball, less than $1 out of every $100 of government spending is backed by even the most basic evidence that the money is being spent wisely. And so as you sit and you made a comment that, that literally 1% of spending makes sense, 99% is suspect, how you were part of this administration and walking through the process to healthcare.gov. Give us a snapshot on how you think government is done and why would you have had confidence that the government could uh, uh, make a dent? Well, let's, let's uh, uh, kind of do two tracks on, on the healthcare uh, sector and healthcare.gov. Right. Uh, the first one, and I'm going to start with the good story and then yeah. we'll get to the bad story. The good story is uh, when the legislation was passed, the conventional wisdom, all the talking heads, everyone said <clears throat> it basically fixes coverage and it does nothing on costs. That was the conventional wisdom. Uh, history has instead played out showing that the coverage has been a little rockier, and we'll come to that in a second, but the cost story is amazingly good. In the first two months of this fiscal year, nominal Medicare spending was lower than last fiscal year. And that reflects- Has that ever happened before? It's happened once before. And that, but the, what hasn't happened before is the five to six year, the longer period slowdown in Medicare cost growth. It is so big, you mentioned I ran the Congressional Budget Office, it is so big that the Congressional Budget Office, which I can assure you is not a dynamic update, let's change our forecast really rapidly in response to every little piece of news kind of place, mm -hmm. uh, has knocked down the 10-year deficit forecast by $1.2 trillion, that's with a T, trillion dollars over the next decade because of the ongoing deceleration in health costs. That's about a 15% reduction in Medicare and Medicaid spending out in 2020. It's far larger than anything that Did kind you of, think that was doable when you were in uh, government and that, advising this is my the president? This is my this? point. I did not, I, I, we were hopeful, we were, uh, you know, it seemed auspicious and promising, but the degree of the slowdown that has occurred far in excess of anything that I could have possibly hoped for. The not so great news story is on healthcare.gov. I don't think, I guess I have a couple comments. One is, I am not of the school of thought that there was some inherent problem in the design of uh, Obamacare that caused IT difficulties. The problem instead was the reverse. The federal government typically does not do a very good job managing IT projects. Look at the IRS modernization effort in the late yeah. 90s, which was a colossal disaster in terms of uh, IT expenditures and lack of uh, result from it. Uh, and new programs are complicated to get up and running. So, and then if you layer on top of that management problems, you wind up with a disaster. And by any, by any, uh, any analysis, this was a disaster. 